Hello everybody, today we will talk about coordination. In the next minutes, we aim to cover the basic facts and definitions on this branch of chemistry. Let's start with the basic definition of, of coordination. Coordination chemistry can be defined as the study of the interactions between transition metal ions and other molecules and ions. It studies the physical and chemical properties, synthesis and structures of coordination compounds. The essential feature of coordination compounds is that they involve coordinate bonds between Lewis acids and bases. So why do we study it? What's the benefits? Some of the important types of coordination compounds occur in biological systems. For example, heme and chlorophyll. There are also significant applications of coordination compounds that involve their use as catalysts. The formation of coordination compounds provides the basis for several techniques in analytical chemistry. Many biomolecules contain transition metals, which play a key role in the functions of these biomolecules. For example, vitamin B12 contains Cl, cobalt. Metalloenzymes such as matrix, metalloproteinases and histone deacetylases contain zinc. Hemoglobin and myoglobin contain iron, responsible for oxygen transport and storage. In addition, transition metal complexes can also be used as therapeutic agents. For example, platinum complex complexes as anti-cancer agents, gold complexes as anti-arthritic agents. So, what are Lewis acids and bases? Lewis acid is a chemical species that reacts with a Lewis base to form a Lewis addict. A Lewis base, then, is any species that donates a pair of electrons to a Lewis acid to form a Lewis addict. That's how Lewis acids and bases combine to give coordination compounds. For example, a Lewis acid, which is a metal ion, Fe3+, combines with a Lewis base, also called a ligand, Cn-, to form a coordination complex. Now, let's talk and differentiate between the dative and covalent bond. Starting with the covalent bond, which is a chemical bond that involves the sharing of electron pairs between atoms. A covalent bond forming H2, hydrogen, where two hydrogen atoms share the two electrons. Then, second is a dative or coordinate bond, which is formed by two atoms sharing a pair of electrons. The atoms are held together because the electron pair is attracted by both of the nuclei. For example, Fe3 plus the metal ion could also react with 6Cn-, which is a ligand. So, Cn- attracts to the metal ion due to its negativity and compactness. And it also bonds really well to Fe3 plus because it can engage in pi bonding. Here we can see this lone pair of electrons can be donated to Fe3 plus metal ion to generate a new complex. After talking about the basics of coordination, it's now time to talk about ligand. What is a ligand and how can we identify it? In coordination chemistry, a ligand is an ion or a molecule that binds to a central metal atom to form a coordination complex. The bonding between metal and ligand generally involves formal donation of one or more of the ligand's electron pairs. The nature of metal-ligand bonding can range from covalent to ionic. Part 1. <clears throat> ligand density. It refers to the number of donor group in a single ligand that binds to a central metal ion in a coordination complex. For example, monodante, one donor atom, polydante, more than one donor atom, as in bidante 2, tridante 3, tetradante 4, and so on. Part 2. 
The following are examples of monodontal ligands since they donate one lone pair of electrons to a given metal ion. H2O, H2S, HS-, CH3OH, CH3SH, F-, and OH-. Three examples of bidentate ligands: oxalate ion, ethylene diamine, two two bi pyridine. However, a lowest base such as H two O with less than one lone pair of electrons can act as a bridging ligand. The ligand acts as a bridge between the metal ions. The bidentate ligands one two diaminoethene or ethylene diamine. Ethylene diamine forms a ring around the metal ion. The ethylene diamine ligand is called a chelating agent. It forms two dative bonds with the same metal ion. 4. Now it's time to talk about chelate. Chelate is from the Greek word for claw. Chel, the chelating ligand, claws the metal. Chelating agent forms two dative bonds with the same metal ion. For example, on this metal complex, in this metal complex, coordination number equals 6, not 3, coordination number of metal ion equals 3, 5. So what is chelate stability? Chelates are more stable than non-chelates. Stability depends on the size of the ring. In this example, ethylene diamine forms 5 membered ring chelates. And this is the most stable ring size in the metal complexes. 6a. <clears throat> chelation therapy. Chelation therapy is the administration of chelating agents by means of intravenous infusion, intramuscular injection, or oral administration to mobilize or remove unwanted or excess metal ions from the body. 6b. Three areas of clinical use of chelating drugs. Removal of metal ions that accumulate in tissues due to genetic disorders. Treatment of heavy metals such as lead, mercury, and cadmium toxicity due to environmental pollution. Treatment of degenerative diseases of blood vessels as in removal of calcium-containing plaques. Seven A. Now. Let's finish up with a brief talk about iron chelation therapy. Treatment of thalassemia. Thalassemia, a genetic blood disorder. Thalassemia is caused by variant or missing genes that affects how the body makes hemoglobin. Defective synthesis or absence of one or more globin chains in hemoglobin. 100,000 babies are born each year with thalassemia. It's treated by blood transfusion. However, if not, death might occur within a year. 7b. <clears throat> Repeated transfusions, however, leads to iron overload due to the decomposition of transfused blood. A pint of blood contains about 200 mg of iron, and tissue damage to the heart, endocrine glands, and liver occurs. This causes death within 20 years. The healthy body contains only 4 to 5 grams of iron. Thalassemic patients can accumulate 50 to 70 grams of iron over a 10 year period as a result of transfusion. 7c. Iron chelation therapy removes excess iron. Desferoxamine B or desferol has until recently been the only drug available for this. This contains hydroxamide acid groups. References